let's get ready to remake! Welcome back to the Remake Revolution, uh, courtesy of Three Geeks, the PVD cast, and Mike McGee TV. This is a joint effort. Welcome. I am Mike McGee. I am serving as your host only for this episode. I get to just sit back and relax and watch everyone else sweat it out trying to make something. So we have to start off with our judge for this round on the Remake Revolution is John Orlando from the PVD cast. Follow him Yay! at... Uh, PVD M- What's your Twitter handle again? It's a bunch uh, of letters. PVD MVP. That's right. PVD MVP. Follow him on there, but also, of course, PVDcast.com. And uh, he just started Matt Talk with uh, one of the geeks, uh, Jason. Oh, so- if you haven't heard Matt Talk, you, you are missing out. Yeah, you see, that's the exact response you're supposed to have when you learn that Matt Talk exists. Okay, episode one is hot. Fire, it'll bl- it'll okay. blow you off your <laughs> blow you off your feet just like Boom. that. Boom! The only so. the only two people to ever spit more hot fire than Dylan. <laughs> whoa, whoa! That's whoa. a big that's a big claim. Whoa. Max. That's that a is. Big I don't know claim. if we can look. I don't know if we can back that up on Matt. Yeah, Tart, okay, so yeah. I would I say turn it down. True. Turn it down. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Now, now, like, you, you might have heard that Matt Lock is boring. You might have heard that somewhere, <laughs> but obviously you weren't listening to Matt talk. That's all I'm saying. There you go. So you were paying attention. If ever I heard an endorsement for a new podcast, that was it right there, folks. Check out right there. Matt Talk. There we go. On Thank Anchor. You. I Thank you all. I'm not yeah. I'm not the co-owner of Three Geeks Podcast. Uh, but uh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no bias. No bias. Way to go, Max. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh John is gonna be judging for tonight, uh, because he's just so tired of winning, I guess. But we're left with our semi-returning champions, half and half, I want to say, from Team Three Geeks, Max and Dan. Welcome back, gentlemen. What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, um, and, yeah, John hasn't won that many games, though. He hasn't yeah, won. I was confused by that, too. In all honesty, yeah, I'm mean, like, I'm not so sure that my... Okay. I, mean, I feel like he was trying to be I nice, winning, but, but when, uh, you, yeah. when you, when you lose, you when you lose the very belt that you made to me, <laughs> you don't get to be like, oh, he's a winner. I like, I like how they're ribbing the, the judge right now. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> this isn't this is gonna help you in no, any way. No, later. Like, that's not, like, keep it going. Keep it going. This is how this is how much I I am assured. Like I understand that John is a fair and impartial the, judge. The hole over there. He can he can set aside our rivalry uh, for the tag team championship of oh okay of remake I see what you got there. and 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 okay. judge barely. I I like uh, that's one of the things I love about John. Yeah. Okay, but two two things. One are the belts on the line tonight? No, no. Oh, no we didn't discuss oh, that. We didn't discuss are. that. Yeah, we didn't discuss that. that. Oh, it's an exhibition match. Oh, okay. But that would have to okay. be me and Jason. That would have to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Because uh-huh. Jason. Uh-huh. That's right. That's right. Save your money. It would have to be Jason and you. That's correct. Uh, all right. Secondly, secondly, Victor, in all all absolute honesty, uh, yeah, some of these guys in the group text today just started throwing ideas around. I'm like, I'm in this group text. I don't want to see. Yeah, bias. Right. Bias off the board already. Oh, okay. And also, okay. Jason. Okay. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say some cryptocurrency wasn't exchanged. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the dollars again, just in case. Uh, I, I mean, take payment like, in Werther's Originals. Yes. Whoa, we not go. Werther's. We got. Mm. We got actual mm. cash monies. What do you even do with that? You better go get you some Werther's. Wow. Oh, <laughs> you, say, yeah. you say Werther's, but have, can you say Ricola? There you go. The, the original, the original. That's all uh, I'm saying. Kind of feel good candy. As yeah. Were. Yeah. I'm a Ricola person. Absolutely. We'll put Skittles in the middle, whatever. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, I just meant John is winning at life. I, I oh, that's true. Oh, that well done. Awesome. Oh, God. <laughs> remake done. Revolution. That was a retcon worthy yeah. of DC if I ever saw one. <laughs> I, I remade I remade my <laughs> intro for John, so that's how it works here. Just remake nice. in the moment. Yeah, all right. But uh, welcome some new contenders here to the revolution. We have Victor and Ryan, courtesy of the uh, what's red, white, oh, God, I keep messing this up. What's black, white, and red all over? Got it. Yes. The uh, yes. YouTube uh, show uh, on the Comic Town channel, I believe. Yep. Comic Town TV. Nice. Comic Town That's TV. That's right. I'm originally from Columbus, so I'm semi familiar. That is uh, in the Columbus area, correct? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. What part of the time are you from? 
Um, I'm originally from the Worthington area. So okay, the okay. No, you like right around the corner from us. Nice, nice. Are you guys yeah. at Comic Town right now? Yes, yes we are. Oh, they're at, they're at the here. shop. Yeah, yeah. We, we live here. This is what we do. <laughs> you know, it's got a water fountain. Right. There you go. You're all equipped. In comics, I've, I've, I've used that water fountain. It is excellent. It is, it is delicious. <laughs> So as I understand it, you uh, do like a weekly show where you like review a, a couple of comics and then uh, yes. are able to kind of get into them a little bit and sort of... We literally just finished yeah, this just, week's just episode. Finished, yeah. So yeah, yeah. We get to do new releases, a um, little preview before they hit the stands and let people know which ones we think are worth your time and money um, mm-hmm. and which ones Ryan made big mistakes on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I dig that though. Like, you know, it's like, yeah. hey, being honest, thought I was going to be You're cool. Like, this one's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a, 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 coll- a collection great. is an investment, and you want to get like the best for your money. So it's like, absolutely. exactly. But, you know, there's also people like Dan who love that cringy, like just bad stuff. Like he's your Ludacrats. teammate, Max. Ludacrats. <laughs> Ludacrats. But I'm I'm not, uh, no, truthfully, Dan, like right? <laughs> what? What? You like terrible things. <laughs> I like good things. You call you- my good things terrible. No, no, no. Oh. Also, you also like good things, is what you mean. To say. Yes, from a certain Fight point of view. We want you yeah, to exactly. Dissension. Yes. No, we, we already have the plan done. Like the work's already done, fellas. Like we, can, we can argue back stuff and down. Wow, this is just what, what what we normally do. It's fine. <laughs> okay. all right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, we actually had it's a, a really really good productive meeting today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, their chemistry is just like the odd couple. Ugh. <laughs> But um, Victor, I understand uh, you also have a. I understand you also have like a, an indie uh, label as well, a Vantage In House Productions. Am I correct? In that? I do. Cool. Yeah. What kind, what fact, kind of books? If you look do you... over my shoulder, you can see my logo here up on the wall. Um, we do uh, all kinds of different uh, uh, titles from all ages, mature, young adults, teens, uh, but primarily in the superhero realm. But I just love telling stories. Where, where can people find some more like uh, information? What what is your uh, website or your social media? Yeah, I'm at Vantage In House uh, on all social media. At, uh, VantageInHouse.com is our website, so you can definitely check us out there. And uh, you can definitely buy my stuff from Comic Town. What what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come join us and and buy some stuff here. And actually, they have uh, I think you guys are the only store to have Wonder Care number six oh, really? in stock. So the newest issue of our uh, All Ages Friendly Superhero Series, uh, shout out to Justin Castaneda uh, as the, the co-creator on that one. But uh, they have the only copies of issue six that you can buy. So come here, get it. Hey, I was going to ask real quick, Victor. Um, yeah. How is things going with the You Create Comics? The kind of the, Man, the side project you. that's, you know, uh, me a, and, a little me bit and Corona are going to fight. Me what? and Corona are going to, me and Corona are going to fight. Like, I had one of the biggest deals lined up of all time. Uh, Columbus City Schools was integrating it into a summer program. Um, we're talking 7,000 students. And let's just say I was charging more than a dollar per student. Let's just say it like that. And um, it was going to be a hefty deal. And Corona shut everything down. And yeah, I'm just, I'm weeping. I'm weeping. But I'm, I'm figuring it out. I'm still making moves and uh, still, still standing. I'm still strong, you know. So, yeah. Cool. We're all cool. learning how to adapt, and yeah. I wish you all the best with that. Absolutely. Thank you. Sounds Thank like you. a good initiative. Um, so now that we've kind of met each other, had a couple of laughs, um, exchanged money, let's uh, get into <laughs> or, the or revolution you. here. Let them fight. Let Neither them fight. Confirm nor deny my depositing $10 billion <laughs> into John's offshore Cayman bank account. Listen, I'll yeah. lose for, for less than that, okay? Yeah. I just want, like... <laughs> You could have paid me like a tenth of that, and I would have thrown the whole thing, like <laughs> throwing it out there. Applebee's. Uh, no, no, I mean, I, I, I got it like that. I, I don't mind paying oh, the okay. extra. You know, right. but yeah, I, right. I just I got it going on. Like, did I, I mention you. that I'm the co-owner of Three Geeks Podcast? I mean, I did no, hear that. I definitely heard that. <laughs> I heard that for sure. That's a title you, you gave yourself. Card? Yeah, just sign a gift card. <laughs> <laughs> oh just man, a gift card and and whisper. Armpit hair. Whoa. All oh, you gotta do. Why you gotta Why you gotta inside, uh, inside, 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 inside joke, guys. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. We'll, damn. We'll yeah, you guys later. want to talk about some dissension. That was that was <laughs> epic. We'll Armpit we'll explain hair. later. But um Yeah, I was gonna say we're gonna let y'all uh, grown folks. No, no, if you want if you wanna yeah. know about that, check out the episode of Remake Revolution, um, where it's uh, three geeks versus the uh 
The staunch cast. Staunch cast. Staunch cast. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Flash Ooh. Gordon. It didn't go well. It, really? No. Oh, it, it, you it, and Brian couldn't. So couldn't. Well. You didn't. Um, no, Brian, Brian threw something that wasn't quite thoroughly discussed out there, and it just sank our <laughs> battleship. So, oh, so. Oh, all right. I yeah. mean, he all says right. it's allegedly not quite thoroughly discussed. Let's put it this way. That was the last time I judged a remake revolution. I know that much. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> they didn't sit down off the judges chair? Yep. Wow. I was just like, I, right. can't, I can't deal with this. Mike, it's like, I've created a monster. I've created a monster beyond my control. So speaking of that monster, let's get into it, shall we? Uh, the point of remake revolution is there is a franchise out there that we believe might uh, do with a good overhaul or reboot. We have two teams here that have their own ideas and their own kind of angles on how to reboot it or remake that franchise and that franchise for anyone listening is the toxic avenger from trauma as one of our teams has rightly named themselves the tromaville mob club i want to ask that group uh, what is kind of your connection or your history with the toxic avenger for me it, oh my gosh going back when i was like a, a kid in, in high school and like running into those trauma films that my parents were very much against me watching <laughs> like like finding out like the, the first time watching it expecting like some epic experience that was going to like change my life and it did but just like it just not the right it, way it, it, yeah yeah it was so <laughs> it was so beautiful <laughs> that's, I mean, that's pretty good yeah yeah um toxic Avenger is, is definitely one of those things that is uh, a mark of the times mm -hmm. it's a movie that couldn't be made now as it is um but it's up there with you know attack of the killer tomatoes like there's something about it that is so classic and, and cult friendly yeah and and great yeah. um when i grew up i also had the the cartoon the oh, toxic right. crusaders so mm -hmm. like on top of knowing how bad the movie was which i probably shouldn't have i also had like a really cheesy cartoon to yeah. just feed into how bad it is so yeah. yeah yeah um i actually got to meet lloyd kaufman um uh i think it was last year maybe the year before um hosted him on a on a couple panels so you know getting to talk to him was huge and yeah yeah so that's yeah awesome nice. stuff cool cool uh how about for team three geeks over here what is your connection or history with the toxic avenger i love trauma films they're great like you know class of newcomb high series mm -hmm. uh yeah. tromeo and juliet i think is my favorite nice <laughs> I just love Lemmy as the narrator. It's the greatest yes, thing ever. Yes, Lemmy from Motorhead is but, uh, the narrator. Yeah. yeah. It's just good stuff. I, I, I love that they know what they make, and they are unashamed to make it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Max? How you, yeah, how about for you, Max? Okay, uh, for me, uh, this was the very first time I had ever seen a trauma film. This is the very what? first time I have ever seen <laughs> Toxic Avenger. Um I I instantly knew what it was, um, <laughs> like you know, when I and three minutes into the movie and you get it, and then like again, like I, I appreciate what they're doing. I, like, I'm not like a huge fan of it, like it's not really, you know, I, I don't want to hate on it because it's so obvious that they like they know what's going on, <laughs> so there's no reason to like talk shit about it, you know, because like they they did this on purpose, um, <laughs> but like you know, it's really good in that too, like and like the characters are so just like deliciously terrible. <laughs> and and it's, it's, it's one of those movies that it's just yeah it's like oh my god I can't believe somebody actually put this on a film and and uh, yeah so I, I I love it for that but uh, this is this is my first experience with it um, so it was it was interesting to say the least uh, the one the one note I do have that was just like actually like pretty much unbearable was the, is the the, the score um, <laughs> what it, it, it's it's so like. It's so enduring. It just goes on and on and on. It's a straight up '80s style like synthesizer thing going. Like I'm, oh. I don't understand the problem was, here. Yeah, what, what, I was like, okay, <laughs> okay. No, like, it, 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 it could just be me. It could yeah, just be I'm me. hearing nothing I'm, but wins. That, yeah, that would be nothing my but only dubs. Thing. It's like I found it very hard to like pay like to 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 be there and just hang with it after like minute seven you, of the it was, it was stressing you out wasn't it it was stressing uh, you well, out wasn't it <laughs> I was I was driving and I was stressed man I just needed to try man <laughs> where's she hey. at the car <laughs> does it make it does it make it any better or worse Max if I told you that the theme was done on a keytar <laughs> yeah uh, it makes it it makes it better oh, okay. but not so okay. much better that I would want to go through that again okay. dang. 
harsh, <laughs> harsh words there from the new right. Toxic Avenger viewer. So <laughs> let's get right into it then. But it's we, good shit though. It's good shit. There you go. We we start off here with uh, the first round. I believe is the pitch. What this means is basically what is your angle for this new remake or reboots? Uh, what what is kind of maybe perhaps the perspective or storytelling gimmicks you would use to make this new version of Toxic Avenger appeal to today's audience? Uh, you have a question, Max? Like point quick, of order? Quick, quick, did, did anyone else notice their freaking branding thing that they just did there? The, what? What did we do? It just said iPhone across my screen. like like. Oh, oh, that's because my phone gave me a 20% warning, so I'm going to have to okay. get up and plug this in. No, I'm like, I, like, I, feel, okay. I, I feel like you, you guys are backed by Apple somehow. This is crazy. <laughs> what do you mean? What? Uh, what? 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 <laughs> yeah, no, no. Of course we aren't. It's one of his. It's one of his. It's one of his tactics. He's trying to throw you off your game. I mean, don't, he clearly is working. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't, don't, don't let Max. Do I mean, like, he's like, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Steve is talking. He's like, oh, what are you talking? I, I know Lloyd Coffin. No biggie. Oh. <laughs> and mean, then I was. I was he just Steve texted Trump. me. Whatever. You know. <laughs> And then that news about the keytar really threw him off too. So. Yeah. yeah, it was that <laughs> just blew his Keytars mind. Keytar, yeah. Keytar. He really googled it. He's like keytar. What is that? Oh no! I have oh, oh my god! No. That's right. I, I give that respect to Black anyone Adam's who can from, rock right? a keytar. <laughs> anyone who brass balls to rock a keytar, you got my respect. There who are go. some of the great keytar players of music? By the yeah, storm. All of them? What do you mean? Yes. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Are you supposed to separate? Didn't they it's like, like you play the guitar. Oh, okay. Durand Durand did have one. You... Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Once you, once you learn and master the guitar, you're accepted into Valhalla. You can just choose to stay here. There yeah. You go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Valkyries bear their breasts to you. Well, <laughs> it's the guitar. Yeah. Yeah. They... It's the song of the guitar. Since Max was uh, was a little distracted by the iPhone product placement, we're gonna let uh, we're gonna let Tromaville Mob Club start things off here. Uh, oh, Mob I forgot Club. the name. Oh no! Yes. <laughs> what is your pitch for your reboot of Toxic Avenger? All right, so here's the truth of the of the matter. Here, we weren't prepared for that, so we're gonna literally riff this. As we go right now, we're gonna we're we're in the pitch session. Go for it. So Improv is awesome. I, I have I have, first? I have plenty of paper and pencil to to jot okay, down ideas. Let's, so. let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So what do you want to go for? I, I first think that this is this is clearly a movie told um, in the age post the MCU. So mm -hmm. what we need is shine, right? Yeah. So clearly we're gonna go for a star mm -hmm. that we can build this franchise around. This yeah, is going to be the Iron Man of our movie here yeah right of trauma two of trauma two absolutely um so the the pitch here that i'm thinking is lovable loser mm -hmm. right yeah. comic book fan very, very true right uh super super absolute uh level loser there yeah. um struggles with reading yeah right like we'll just we'll just put like a literacy deficit this is a character that speaks to me i'm <laughs> 100 um Definitely puts uh, into a carry esque situation mm -hmm. where he's trying to make friends. And it just doesn't work. Not at all. People right? are picking on him. He just doesn't know it. He doesn't know. He doesn't get, he doesn't have the cues. Yeah. He doesn't recognize, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So what this is is we'll say it is it is a person that might be on the spectrum but have never been diagnosed. Yeah. So he's doing his best, trying to, you know, get through, mm -hmm. can't do it, people are pushing back, evil bullies, yeah. right? They set up the biggest prank possible. Yeah by filling up the school pool with toxic material. And they convince him that as a celebration of him, they're going to have a pool party. Unbeknownst to him though, it's got this mutagenic material in it, yeah. right? So in this regard, it's not the accident that they're chasing him and he falls out of the window type thing. They've literally collected this material, put it in the pool and someone pushes him in, right? So we get the dark, you know, kind of a dark man esque sort of situation yeah. where he makes his way out, but like they literally leave him there thinking that he's going to die and they don't want to get caught. Yeah. So they leave and boom, that's the beginning. So it's literally Toxie's revenge. That is the whole point. It's young Toxie getting revenge on the bullies that attacked him. Nice. Yeah. All right. Did you get all that, John? 
Um, yes, I believe that we are cool, good. Cool. Or I'm All good right. with my notes. Well, John was just drawing. I know, right? He's just yeah. drawing pictures. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the giant penis man on his thing. Like, right, <laughs> right. The <laughs> glorious <laughs> wizard with the freaking, like on a, on a unicorn with a rainbow and freaking... <laughs> Oh my god. So <clears throat> now we can uh, go into like other details like sure. you know beyond this, this is like that opening origin piece which right. you find out is that one of the guys his he's the son of the uh the we'll call it a, a evil businessman. Uh he works for we'll call it a Rupco. And that's where they get the toxic That's sludge where they get the toxic sludge. Yeah. And if you if you take Rupco and switch it around, what's it spell? Corrupt. So that's the way that this kind of goes where Toxie is trying to get his revenge, but the kid is being protected by his evil father who then pulls a total, uh, a total shredder move mm-hmm. by building his own toxic thugs to fight against. Yeah. Everything Captain Planet didn't have the balls to be. Boom. Boom. Oh, so, uh, yeah. right and, there. Hands uh, down. Yeah, Ryan and, wins. I, don't have to say right? I feel like that's if, that's the right? stinger, if, that, if that's the stinger, you, you guys just automatically win. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'd go see that movie. I'd go see that movie right now. Yeah, I, I, I'll go see that. Like, <laughs> shut up and take my money. Shut up and take my money right now. Can you that tell awesome. that you work that on awesome. comic books? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... All right, uh, Team Three Geeks, what is your pitch then? Oh, uh, no, we're done after. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're not. <laughs> no, Come on. No, 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 no. Just play it, just play it. Uh, Dan, do you want to you take the lead on this? Sure. All right, so trauma has such a rich history, and yet most of the kids don't know anything about them. So what you need to do is not mess with the original story, but make it bigger and grander than ever before. <laughs> <laughs> so we are building a rock opera. Oh my god. Of, of the Toxic Avenger. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna evil dead to it, sort of. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't there opera. already a Toxic Avenger there's a musical? Uh, yeah, there's a musical. Yeah, there is one. Yeah. Okay, okay but that's, this is better. That's the musical. <laughs> this is a rock opera. This is better. Yes. I like your mock. This is the rock <laughs> opera. <laughs> uh now just, just wait until you hear the rest of this all right now you're gonna, yeah yeah you, 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 you best not compare it to any paltry musical that might that might exist exactly a stage show for this no <laughs> sir sir <laughs> but and we want to in, incorporate trauma's rich history into the background of it so we're gonna have like sergeant kabuki man in you know, wandering around, and you know, you got like Tromeo and Juliet, even like maybe Troma's War. Oh, nice. as as messed up as that was, <laughs> but yeah, you, you have you have that that one uh, car crash that they use for like every movie. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna bring that back. It's a good car crash. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's if it ain't broke, you know, like right, like, right. It's, why mess that's it? good footage, man. Don't lose, don't waste that. <laughs> That maybe Sam Raimi's part of this time. It's <laughs> true. That's messed up, man. <laughs> messed up. But uh, but yeah, it's just going to be the Toxic Avenger, but bigger and better than than you have ever seen it before. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. That's, right. that's that's solid. I would watch and, that. And get some I, pop rock vibes. Yeah, yeah. I, right. I need a minute, please. Yeah. On <laughs> go down uh, oh no! Take all the all time right. you need, sir. So now that we've, I'll, I'll vamp a little bit here. So now that we've uh, worked out like what the pitches are, next come the next couple of rounds, which is going to kind of flesh out the creative team that's going to be behind these pitches. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to stay with Team Three Geeks, and we are going to mm-hmm. explore the possibility of the director who's going to helm your rock opera trauma tributes extravaganza there all right so, um, team three geeks uh so uh, we, we we've got a very i feel uh this is this is kind of like big news pick uh it's you know it it, it kind of goes against the trauma grain because this is like a very like we have a lot of like like star power in there but we still want the the trauma feel One to it um so we're going uh for director we're going Co-directing James Gunn and Lloyd Kaufman. (laughs) 
I only laugh because oh. that's exactly like we picked James Gunn as well. <laughs> ah, no, 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 you didn't. Because yeah. yeah. we did. And, so, and <laughs> well, I know, right? Like that's what else. that's what we were talking about. Like, yeah, you can't. Mm. Unfortunately for you, we got to go first, so you can't. Fair game. Fair game. Fair game. <laughs> Mike, so what's the rules? The judge. I, I mean, this has never happened in the history of remake revolution. Well, no, 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 no. we're good. We're good. I think, yeah, I think the other component works for us. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. We do the did writer as well. Oh yeah, you want if you want to do a writer as well, writer and director. Oh, you know okay. Uh, okay. So, so uh, do you want to? All right, I'm not the only one who actually knows his name. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, to 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 write this, we thought that there would be none better than Batman and Robin writer Akiva Goldsman to to wow. take this one because. He would yeah, do we'd yeah, be like, we'd be like, dude, do your best. And he would give you a Batman and Robin terrible movie. And he's like, look, I did it. And we're like, yes, thank you. Thank you for and, this. This is the worst. And then you <laughs> hand it to James Gunn, who makes yeah. it awesome. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, rock opera. <laughs> Could you repeat that that writer, please? Oh, okay. Ask? Akiba Goldsman. He, uh, he wrote, Goldsman. Batman. Okay. He, he wrote okay. Batman and Robin. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, that's, that's uh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And to give okay. you also to give you a taste too, not only did he write Batman and Robin, he also wrote A Beautiful Mind and won like awards for that. So it's like indeed. Yeah. What God. is the what is this man? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh All right. Mob Club, your director. <laughs> so so and writer. you know, yeah. while we threw out, you know, James Gunn now because he gotta go with the toxic back bathwater, uh, our director will be Taika Watiti. And uh, mm-hmm. writer is none other than Kevin Smith. Okay. All, All right. right. Yeah. Because yeah. right. Kevin I, Smith, he, he loves the bad stuff. He loves the B movies. He loves the pop culture. And he has a respect for it. At the same time, he's able to make fun of it, mm-hmm. which can really dial things up, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that's going to that's gonna up your dialogue by like 35%. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's funny. Yeah. As long as it's funny. That's all that matters to me. Truth be told, I thought Victor was going to say he was going to write it. So <laughs> no, 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 no. That would have been balls. I, I, yeah, I would have yeah. respected that. I would have respected that. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that's not fair. That's not fair because nobody else would, like listening would be able to just naturally like, oh, yeah, he's the greatest person of all time, which I am. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to let that, you know. It's on the Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, we should have done that. We should have like, <laughs> like the Wikipedia writer like, of the toxic event. Yeah. yeah, greatest of all time, Victor Dandridge. Edit in Edit 2020. Yeah. It was announced that Victor Dandridge. <laughs> According to call the me, re- like, what in the hell? Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, say, don't worry about I it. Saw that. I'll take it down. I saw that. <laughs> Bleeding cool <laughs> interviews nonstop. Right. Like, oh, and I'm like, no, no, no. It was a joke. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Find my book, Spanish in house. <laughs> Victor's blaming it on the kids in the neighborhood. I don't know. The yeah. kids in the neighborhood, dude. Damn. Heard me talking, talking about toxic you know, you know that Avengers. COVID is going yeah. around. These kids yeah. all got yeah. computers out of time on their hands. Let me write Toxic Avengers. You got the COVID. You got the COVID. <laughs> <laughs> that's the brain. Oh, man. You need, to go, you need to go get yourself checked. That's, that's, uh, that's dangerous. You got the COVID. You're hallucinating like already. That. That's another symptom. <laughs> An, 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 an eagerness to write toxic avenger stories that's right another symptom of the covid so that's you know, <laughs> i don't know man i'm All feeling right. kind of i'm feeling kind of itchy like that might i might have it <laughs> oh, so oh, we got oh, oh oh no sorry there's one there's one thing i just got to throw out there real quick uh i don't know if we can even toss this in this is like some bonus round shit uh but we were we forgot to mention we're gonna set up the toxic what? crusaders universe with this movie so this is the. I think oh, that, that can go on the pitch. Yeah, yeah. 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 that, that can go on the pitch. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, Your world so, building. Like, yeah. there's only there's only the Toxic Crusaders like cartoon. Like, this is this be like live action Toxic Crusaders. <laughs> like, Toxic this is Crusaders the universe. Or something. I feel like he took that from us because we said that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Here. Yeah, I'm just I was saying, like, I'm saying we said that. Yeah, said that. Just copy it. Yeah, you talked about from our cartoon. Like, I got it written down right here. I can show you. Like, it's it's. Oh 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 oh. Like, Look, like, it's, it's in like a different circle and shit. It's in a different <laughs> like know, font. Man. That could have been written. It's yeah. circled <laughs> right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in that crayon. Like it's hold on, hold on, Mike. Can we get the handwriting analysis guy on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we get the can we get the jotted the oh, jotted Steven, analysis, uh, analysis great. please? So there How we long go. has the ink been on the page? Touch it. Touch it. I want to get a smear. 
That's dry ink. That's dry ink. You like how he held it upside down yeah. the wrong way? <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't want to show you the rest of his picks, so that's I why. Know, I, like, got here. I told you, he's going to try to throw you off your game here, but Man, you're holding strong, up. holding strong. Um, right. We're going to talk about it next cookout. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the next round here um i'm gonna stick with tromaville mob club this is uh the cast uh now this is who you might envision in the lead and i know sometimes toxic avengers have been sort of a dual role but uh mm-hmm. uh you know other supporting characters or other like important characters that you feel you would add into this remake uh who is your cast well melvin is very important to get right yeah. you know you got to get the right person for melvin if um and the the issue of course is kind of i don't know you kind of gotta you gotta build up somebody that i think you could carry over Mm -hmm. with you know uh, with technology as it is now you know we're gonna put some money into this me personally i don't know how you feel about this Mm -hmm. um i think we should do like a captain america Mm -hmm. where we cgi onto a weaker body yeah ryan reynolds that's (laughs) my pick for melvin I think he could he could he could pull that off. Yeah, yeah. With, with Daniel Day Lewis retiring from acting, he, we need someone yeah, yeah. to fill this. You know, again, we need some. So, uh, and then obviously on the flip side, yeah. Toxie would definitely be played by Ryan, which I think adds to the the verisimilitude of it. I just want to see Ryan's beautiful eye in its very mobileness, mm-hmm. as opposed to the stationary one, yeah. and the jokes that he would get. You know, it, in case. Uh, you know, the Deadpool thing doesn't quite work out. Yeah, you know, Deadpool 3 could flop. It could, 100%. We yeah. could be over that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if there's anywhere that I think Ryan should fall in terms of the superhero genre, it's toxic. Yeah. So imagine him being the Metatron for Kevin Smith's jokes. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Actually, I, why have we never seen that? I don't know. Yeah. It's like something that should happen. 100%. Like peanut butter and chocolate, like yeah. cocaine and waffles. It, I mean, it just... Waffles? I'll tell you later. Okay. Well, you never. So yeah, yeah, that's where we're starting. That's where we're starting. You never. Um, are we good? <laughs> right. Did we, did we break it? <laughs> no, no, no. Like you never, you never had cocaine and waffles, dude. Yeah, yeah. No, like not, not, <laughs> oh. not regularly. Like oh, yeah. you know, he said like a normal meal. <laughs> you know. Like, okay. No, 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 I, I was just like, I like you know, you said we needed to talk. I'm like, we really need to talk. <laughs> like apparently. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, don't bro. don't spoil the Fourth of July meal, Max. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm saying like I gotta, like, I gotta help this menu, man. Bro. Like, my bad, this dude, my bad, my bad. This my dude bad. hasn't lived. Like I'm trying, to, I'm just trying to make sure. Like I'm trying to take care of you. Listen, man, I'm on the south side. We don't got it like that, okay? All right, all right. Oh, there it is again. I it did it. Did it again. All right, I'm gonna have to find a plug because now we're at 10, so I'm gonna have to find a plug. No problem. Um, what? Who else do you want to put in there? Well, we gotta we gotta figure out because there's the evil uh, father. The right of the, of the bullies, right? Oh man, that's a toughie. Uh, I'm a fan of Udo Kier, but like, it's oh my god, it's be niche. But yeah, I mean, like, he can bring that kind of like. No, movie. Udo Kier is perfect because he is he is of that niche market. That's fantastic. Forgive my ignorance. Um, <laughs> yeah, forgive my got, ignorance too. Who is that, Ryan? Who is that? Udo Kier? What? Yeah. Oh my god, man. he has only been in like every movie. No, ever. Okay, think think Blade. Okay, yeah. the head Blade. of the Vampire Council. Oh, that dude. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Suspiria. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yep. All right. I know who you mean. Oh my God. What? I know who you mean. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> nobody's that nobody's ever ready for the human That was that was that was a lie. Um yeah. I think <laughs> I think uh uh Slug and Bozo should be played by Jay and Kevin Smith. I think that's Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. That should be you know, Jay and Silent Bob should make their cameo as those guys, mm-hmm. and that would be hilarious to me. Um the female interest, uh, love interest, who is blind. Um, what we what we really need to do is spice this up mm-hmm. um, and literally add some color. So Tessa Thompson is yeah, okay. who I'm picking for uh, that role. So um, who would who would play his mom? Who's Melvin's mom? Hmm. I think it should be somebody really wholesome, not Meryl Streep. I hate Meryl Streep. I don't even know what I'm. Bette Midler. <laughs> Bette Midler. I'm, with your, I'm with your vibe. Yeah. Bette Midler plays Melvin's mom. And yeah. 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 And can, one cameo by John Waters. Cause, cause yeah, you got yeah. it. And his mustache. Mm-hmm. That's important. 
so important. You could be like a, you could be like one of the teachers or something. Absolutely. Yeah. I like yeah. it. I like it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that, that is your cast then for that remake of the Toxic Avenger. Uh, if you need to plug in your phone, go ahead. I'm going to go over here to Team 3 Geeks to uh, see what their cast is like. I apologize for my, my improper m- muting and unmuting of myself. Um, I didn't mean to, <laughs> to, to hop in there at the time. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, all right, um, we've got uh, we've got we've got some picks. Um, Dan, you want to you want to start it off? Uh, I forgot. The name awesome, of good because I got it written down. So, oh, yeah, yeah you, <laughs> you've got our cast there. All right, so uh, for Melvin, we're gonna go with Nolan Gould. He is uh, the Ooh. son on um, on. Uh, Good, what's the name? Modern, Modern Family. Modern Family. Yes, yeah, thank you. Okay. He is he's the the, the white kid son. Um, <laughs> Uh, he's he's good. He's good at physical comedy. Um, I, I feel like he'd be a, he's he'd be a good quirky kind of weird kid. So uh, yeah, we'll be over with him. Um, so pick, and then we're gonna go with uh, Matthew McConaughey is gonna be the dubbed over Toxic Avenger voice. <laughs> and um, remember, he's gonna sing. Yes, he's so also gonna it's, sing. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> glorious. It will be glorious. Uh, all right, so yeah, we've got um, John Cena is gonna play the actual oh. Toxic Avenger. We don't have a plug, so can we USB it from? Okay, we're coming back. We're coming back. All right, making it happen. Teamwork makes the dream work, fellas. Always. <laughs> all right, now we're uh, sideways. Jack Black is gonna be the narrator, the the, the overall narrator. That's right a there. good one. That's a good one. Thank you. Um, Meatloaf is going to play the, the evil corrupt mayor. Nice, nice. I mean, it's rock opera. Like, you're in the right place. <laughs> um, and then, okay, so for the, uh, for the blind girlfriend, uh, brought to you by iPhone, uh, we're going to have, um, uh, we need to find, like, a sufficiently hot, a sufficiently bad actress. So, uh, we're going to go with Megan Fox. Oh, <laughs> um, for the uh, so so for the um for the the group of like marauding badasses who like to run down children in the streets, um, you know, extra double points for for kids on the heroes. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, the heroes, like the 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 poor freaking uh uh, they're, they're just held down the whole time. I mean, the man is suffering from stress. Exactly, and, and nobody yeah. even, nobody, nobody even, cared. right? Nobody cared. It's, it, I, I, I might need a second, but um, all right. So uh, for for uh, Bozo, we're gonna get Frankie Adams. Um, she plays uh, Bobby Draper on The Expanse. She plays the Martian badass chick. Um, we're gonna we're gonna gender swap and race swap. So like that's how you. You, you, you play nice. both of those cards at the same time. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, for Slug, we're going to get Tom Holland. I believe he's got the chops. And, like, you've never seen him in a role like this, so I feel like he'd be kind of perfect for it. Um, I feel like he could pull off, like, like, like that, that kind of weirdo, second-hand bad guy, and like, we just haven't seen that from him yet. Um, but I'd like to give him the opportunity. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. So for the uh, the girlfriend, or we're just gonna call them girlfriends, uh, the, the significant others uh, of the, the 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 evil. I mean, the heroes, the heroes of the story. Right, there you go. Um, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the the girls that the, got uh, naked is basically all you have to say. I mean. The girls that got that, naked. Like, Georgia, please. Like I don't, I don't understand. Yeah. Um, they, and they can, you know, they can, they can get naked or not get naked. Like we don't, if they're, they're not comfortable with that, I'm not forcing anybody to do anything they don't want to do. You're a good producer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, uh, like the, the the B movie has changed from the times that the, the original Toxic Avenger was made. Sure. So yeah. we can still pay tribute to it without making. The women feel like objects, or you know, like if, if they want to, if they want to do it, though, you know, hey, like I'm not gonna stop you. I'm just not gonna make it. Um, we're gonna get the uh, 
Chloe Gra- uh, Grace Moritz. Um, she played Hit Girl in. Uh, oh no, you cannot get Chloe. Okay, she's a baby. She will always be a baby. Can't do Chloe. <laughs> hey man, look, look, look. look. It's it's twenty years old. She does not have to get weird. It does not have to get weird. Okay, like she's a <laughs> too late. Doesn't she doesn't want to do. She doesn't want to do nothing. Chloe, she doesn't got to do nothing. It's it's fine. Like I, no uh, weirdness. Uh, no we, we, we hired her for her actor's talent. Yeah, we want her for her skills, not not for her body. Okay, man, she is a beautiful person, and we respect the shit out of her. Okay, like this is not weird. <laughs> oh man, throwing that out it, there. It, 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 really, out. it really got it really got real on this fake remake. <laughs> I mean, <man>. I'm <laughs> just trying to. Now. I'm just trying to keep monetizing the motherfucker. Nah, yeah. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you, man. <laughs> There's a line. Oh. Go back. <laughs> no, all right. So, so she is. Uh, she's gonna play. Um, uh, Slug's girlfriend, and then uh, for Bozo's girlfriend, we're getting Justin Timberlake. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, you swapped. You swapped. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. But also, right. But also, also it's, it's a rock happen. opera, and it, it pays, you know, it, it, you can have like Justin that. Timberlake in there. Yeah. Yep. That's but true. Justin has to get naked. Yes, mindset. Yeah. Hey, I, you know, look. If you want swinging dicks, we'll give you swinging dicks. Like, I'll no, give him throw the shit at this motherfucker. I don't care. It's only fair. It's only I don't. Only I, fair. Hey, man. Again, I'm not stopping nobody from doing nothing. All right. Like, 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 live your life. Live, live your one life you got. <laughs> Max, when you say stuff like that, it makes me think. If you are a director of a movie, you're like, just do whatever, just yeah. do whatever. I don't give a shit. I would be the whatever. Man, whatever you want to do, just get naked or don't get naked. I don't hey, care. Look, if you don't want to get naked, I'm not telling you to get naked. But if you you want to say those naked, lines? Say the lines. You want to make something up? Go ahead. I don't care. Whatever. Go ahead. Like, like, look, does, <laughs> does your shit work better? Does your shit work better? Let's do that then. You, but you better tell me, it, I dare you. I dare just you. tell me it's going to make money. Right? That's yes. all I care about at the end. Like, I just want to stay can. monetized. <laughs> Come here. Do your shit. Leave. Make me money. John, <laughs> John, I don't know about you, but I'm getting Howard the Duck flashbacks like a Vietnam. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. That, was not that was not a compliment. <laughs> so. No, cool. yet another remake that we'll tell you about later. But um, <laughs> all right, so that that's your cast then. Uh, yeah. let's see here. I or believe you have one more. That is all. Okay, we said Megan Fox, uh, Jack Black narrating. Meatloaf yep. playing the mayor. Nolan yep. Gould is playing Melvin. Uh, Matthew McConaughey has a Toxic Avengers dubbed over voice uh, and also singing voice. Uh, John Cena to play the Toxic Avenger. Uh, we've got Tom Holland in there playing Slug, uh, Frankie Adams playing Bozo with uh, Hit Girl <laughs> as a girlfriend, and Justin Timberlake swinging dicks as a girlfriend. Every time, man. Every time. Okay. Every time. <laughs> All right. John, I don't envy you. Um, so uh, this last round here, we, we, we're we doing this round, right, John? Yes, we are yeah. doing marketing. Okay. Yes. <laughs> marketing. Uh, I'm going to pass it on over to team three geeks your marketing you know what you don't see anymore you don't see classic road shows of films so before this comes out in theaters it's going to go out on tour it's going to have guar opening for it I mean, it makes sense. It's a rock, you know, it's got like yes. a rock opera. Yes, that's, hard. Uh, that's, 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 that's hard to beat. That's, we're doing, yeah. we're doing uh, an American tour. Uh, and, and then like the, uh, no, I guess we can do a world tour, you know, because. You might as well. They, they yes. love them in Japan. <laughs> and uh, like, I would them to, I would like them to go to Australia right after they hit America, just because Australia never gets anything, you know, like it would be good for them to like, you know, like I'm <laughs> reaching out. They do. They do. They do. Um, so yeah, uh, but yeah, like the tour, I think it'd just be it, it's in the, it's in the spirit of tra- uh, uh, in, of trauma because like it's a very cult following. So I feel like you know like the the uh, wait a minute, did you almost misspeak and say Trump instead of did. trauma? No, he did. Yeah. I almost said trauma. No, no, he, he he said it. I heard it. I, I almost said trauma. I heard it. I heard <laughs> I said it. Trauma. But anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that uh, you know, like a little like, sort of convention style 
display of the movie before the actual movie comes out to all theaters would would be a really good momentum builder and uh you know get all the people out to 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 enjoy the shit that they like all right okay uh thanks tromaville nice. mob club what is your marketing ploy you guys have to two, do that as team two members. words myspace boom get it <laughs> <laughs> these guys yeah, think outside the box <laughs> right right like think about it no one is there yep. what is more toxic MySpace. Mm -hmm. And in fact, Twitter? not only is it MySpace, I think we can get uh, Ryan to do like a Canadian cover band oh my God. as Topsy, mm -hmm. just like the Turtles used to do, mm -hmm. where they would go around the stadiums <laughs> and whatnot. So we'll, we'll see your rock opera opening with War, but we'll actually do like... He knows Celine Dion. Right? He knows uh, <laughs> Alexis <laughs> Morissette. Right? Uh, All these other Canadians. Probably Nickelback? Definitely Nickelback. Yeah, they totally know Nickelback. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, okay, uh, right? quick, quick so, note about Nickelback. We uh, we dismissed Nickelback as possible of the, the, the group of heroes. We were going to just have Nickelback. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Everybody so, hates I like Nickelback. Where we're at, though. That's, a, that's a vibe. Yeah. That's a vibe right there. Um, I think the, the, the marketing piece... Um, should be tangible slime yeah. oriented things. Yeah, so, you know, be, be the toxic Avenger, you know, put slime on your face. Um, we will actually do a, a hashtag uh, sort of campaign. Uh, it's like duck lips, but with slime mm -hmm. and it's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, show us your trauma is basically, you know, yeah. what we're going to do. Um, toxic challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the toxic challenge. Uh, you know that dance, the mom, the mom where the, the kids are doing that? Yeah, we're bringing that back heavy. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna we're gonna put that in, and uh, yeah, we're gonna build like a whole organic campaign of just people wanting Toxie, and and yeah, that's what it is on MySpace though. But on more MySpace. importantly, Toxie's goo on their face. Exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. It, it works yeah. for me as an yeah. ultra boy. It'll work for us now. Boom. So. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're going to hell. We're going yeah. to hell. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. They win. Oh my God. I'm done. <laughs> we need to get this man some help. Oh my God. <laughs> it's well, trauma, you Phil. What do you expect? Yeah, I know. It's like, what do you expect? It's trauma. Those yeah. dudes had glad bags of cocaine. Come yeah. on. That's in the movie, uh, sir. <laughs> sir, yeah. great. Right. Respect to you, bad respect. I mean, to you. I mean, I gotta be honest. Pew, 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 pew. I gotta, I gotta be honest. The first time that I saw the Toxic Avenger, and they show that he urinates toxic fluid. Yes. But then when he's making love to Sarah, I'm like, that's, that's dangerous. Not gonna be good. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, that's not whatever. Gonna be good. He's just making hot love to her. That's all. Uh huh. Uh -huh. We ain't judging. Now. Why Terrible. they gotta make it weird? Yeah. Terrible. Well, all this of a sudden, been... a radar sense kicks in. It's like, wait, wait, what? I can see you. This has been a fun last remake revolution. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, okay, well, I have I have a decision to make. Yes. So I'm going to take out the earbuds. I'm going to step away for a moment, take a look at what we have here, and I'll come back in a minute or two. Okay. okay. Right. While okay. we're doing that, um, <laughs> we can vamp a little bit here. Did either team want to ask the other team about specific any other specifics but i'm kind of afraid about that <laughs> don't be scared don't be scared don't did be you scared. have a theme song in mind there you uh, go for either jack black or or meatloaf to to belt i i'd, I'd it would have to be, all be original music okay so, yeah, i wasn't no, sure if you wanted to like remix anything no, no. i i because I, I feel like meatloaf wouldn't respect it if it wasn't like something new you know like something made like for for now because i don't right. know I, like he's not the kind of guy who wants to just rehash all this all this shit he's already that's done. true that's true but uh right. no i but and also i feel like you know like you gotta go for it like i, yeah, I just want to do like all the original remakes are the one thing that he won't do for love you know that's <laughs> right you know like i won't I do would that do anything for love <laughs> But not a remix. Oh. Like I got you. All right. <laughs> you make it sweet. You got to give him some some juicy to bite into. Okay, I got you. And like got literally, you got to send him a steak. Like, oh my god! Like, yeah. Juicy to bite right. into. It's it's so cool. Cool. Johnny Mayer on the guitar. That would yeah, <laughs> man. That would be dark. I mean, John Mayer I'm, I'm thinking Taylor guitar. Swift might be up for writing something. Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, she 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 did stuff for cats. It's only natural she's gonna go to trauma next. Cats is so bad. Oh, it yeah. was so bad. I, I'm, I'm pissed off because like I've been trying to watch it on like on streaming. Why? Because it's it's it, 
it's it, insane. It's like oh. looking into the mind of God. Because it's bad. Yeah. So, yeah. Here's um, one <laughs> decision that we can all live well with, hopefully. John, what is what is your verdict? <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to break it down like we normally do, section by section. Um, I have to say that for winging it and coming up with it on the fly, I really like the pitch from the Tromaville Mop Club. Uh, Victor and Ryan is very, very good. Um, I like the idea of mixing in a little bit of newer stuff, such as the evil uh, businessman and the son and creating his own army of mutants. I like that. Uh, the rock opera um, had its points. I, I liked it, guys, uh, especially tying in all the other characters from the other trauma movies. But my, my big problem with that is if you're not familiar with those other you know, Sergeant Kabuki, for example, if you're not familiar with that character, then you're going to have to spend all this time talking about that character, maybe. And that kind of well, shied me away just, from it. It's just yeah. the, 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 yeah. the Easter eggs, man. Like, if you don't if you don't get it, it just wasn't for you. It just passes you by, but it doesn't hurt Plus, the movie. It just adds to it. There's going to be 20 YouTube videos about it, like like the next day. <laughs> all, all the Easter eggs in the thing. You all the Damn. Yeah. Did you, did you spot Sergeant Kabuki, podcast, man? Though, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. they're there. Yeah. Sponsored by cats. Yeah. <laughs> Again, see? <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Three Geeks is, is in no way, shape, or form affiliated with the movie cast. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> uh, so we go to director and writer. Uh, Team Three Geeks, you mentioned James Gunn and Lloyd Kaufman sharing directing uh, that's, that's duties. Really, that's, really, that's really good. Yeah. And Akiva Goldsman as the writer. Um, Dromaville Mop Club, you went with Kevin Smith as a writer and I can never say his name. How you doing, White TV. Thank you. I can never say it. Um, Team Three Geeks. I went with this one because I, I think that the idea of of taking. I mean, I like the idea. James Gunn is wacky enough, but then you put in Lloyd Kaufman. It. Yeah, I was like, I I got I got to go that way. Um, so let's go to the cast. Uh, the cast for the uh, Tremblville Mop Club. Um, Melvin and Toxic Avenger at, is being played by Ryan Reynolds. Tessa Thompson as Sarah. Uh, Jane Silent Bob or Slug and Bozo. Uh, Bette Midler plays Mom, Melvin's mom. Uh, there is no evil mayor, but there is the evil father character, uh, Udo Kier, um, and a John Waters cameo. So, uh, John, do me one favor real quick. Just spell Udo Kier for me real quick. U uh, D O. K I E R. Okay. You looked yeah. it up. There you go. Yes, I did. I <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> look, look. I, I will tell you right now. How did you spell it? How did you spell it when they first said it? U D O K K I R A. Like Kira. No, not too bad. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, come on, come on. Just, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like O O D. No, as soon as you said it, <laughs> there somewhere. Yeah. As soon as Victor you said Blade. D-O. As soon as you said Blade, I'm like, oh, I know who you mean. Oh, yeah. I know that yeah. guy. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. He's one of those, you know, type of actors. Yeah. You're like, oh that yeah. A sex symbol. You've got that face like some evil asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and you can make a star out of it. Yeah. Like, that's all yeah. I'm Walton Goggins. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> Team Three Geeks said uh, Nolan Gould as uh, as Melvin, Megan Fox as Sarah, uh, Matthew McConaughey as the voice of the Toxic Avenger, John Cena as the actual Toxic Avenger, uh, Meatloaf as the mayor, uh, narrator Jack Black, uh, three. Uh, as for the uh, the 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 punks, uh, Bozo would be played by Frankie Adams, and uh, Frankie's uh, significant other would be Justin Timberlake. Slug would be played by Tom Holland, and twenty three year old Chloe Grace Moritz. She's still twelve. That up too. She's still twelve. She's still twelve. Yeah, I just feel. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't even watch. Uh, uh, what is it? Sorority Girls or Neighbors Two? Whatever it is. Yeah, the Neighbors. I sequel. Watch yeah. yeah, I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't. Uh, and Tessa Thompson is in that. And I'm like, nope. <laughs> um, I, I went for the cast. I gave it to Three Geeks. Um, I like it's Nolan Gould cast. as, yeah. as, as uh, Melvin. That, that really did it for me. I think he I was, was. I was really worried. Like, like that was, you guys saw the cast. Too. Nice. Well yeah. done. Well yeah. done. But we did have um, that, honestly, all these have been hard to kind of pick between the two. Um, Except for marketing. Um, sorry. 
<laughs> three geeks you're gonna do the classic road show you're gonna take it on the road man all around the world and it's gonna feature of course guar i was so King Diamond would be we're not saying no. I, no, I, not I, saying I, no. I, Just like Chloe, you know, like whatever you want to do, we're not saying no. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. If a band <laughs> shows up, you could be on the tour. Did I just show find find somebody who loves King Diamond as much as I do? <laughs> you don't even Ryan, know. Yes, because right? because you nobody no nobody ev- ever liked King Diamond except me. You don't oh y'all just became yeah. best friends. Just Yay. friends. You don't even know. <laughs> this change podcast name four geeks now because <laughs> Brian's here. Oh so, my god. This is what it's like when doves cry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> Grandma? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> um Tromaville, Mop Club, you are putting all your marketing behind MySpace um, and a concert tour as well. Uh, Ryan Reynolds as the Toxic Avenger teaming up with Alanis Morissette, Nickelback, Celine Dion, Brian Adams as well. Oh, the remaining, yeah. the yeah, remaining like members the, of like Rush. Canadian Kenny Loggins. He totally is. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking Kenny Loggins was screwed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> They've gone to the danger zone. <laughs> <gasps> uh tangible slime uh a mop dance is thrown in there which i'm not quite sure what that is i haven't seen yeah. that but uh so sorry i'm going three geeks so that gives Dang it. three wins oh, come on categories. Man. oh over one for the I, I mean you know what, guys it's your, well it's your first it's your first remake well like, done. there's well no done. shame in your game you guys played an no, no. excellent game listen I listen now that we know that we're supposed to actually pre-game it we'll be, we'll be fun more deadly we thought yeah, we were no, supposed I'm, to do I'm this i'm very wow. nervous i'm very nervous about the next one you guys. Like, <laughs> that, that's the thing i wanted uh, to say even though you were even though it was like yeah. improv on the spot like i was like this is actually pretty well this is a put together <laughs> little game and like i don't <laughs> think i don't think it was improv on the spot like i'm pretty we sure swear, they got, we they're reading like a teleprompter and shit. Like they got like the whole production. <laughs> no, like, oh, yeah, there's like five us, people. We gotta, we gotta move our iPod real quick. Hold on, just one second. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, like no, literally, it's... literally, if you watch our show, you'll see how well we improv. We don't talk to each other. We just kind of, we just kind of, yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty funny. It's probably gonna be way worse if we actually try to write stuff down. We're like, oh, this is yeah. trash. This is horrible. What? Just talk. Just talk. <laughs> uh, I second that, Mike. I second that. I thought for two guys throwing it together, this is actually pretty damn good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but yeah. Your belt so, will be ours, though. Yeah. Your belt will be ours. <laughs> At some uh, point. No, 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 yeah. no it's, uh, you're going to you're gonna have to work a little hard on that, son, just so you want to come up against You know, those. funny enough, they call Pants. me the hardest working man in comics, so I yep. am taking oh, it. Yeah, but you aren't the hardest remake revolution. Son, I'm, I am the revolution. Give me time. Understand? Like, don't Give even. Me time. No, no. I mean, gonna do, like, I mean, look, promos? Look, look, that I understand. Right look, look. look, look. <laughs> just, I'll tell you, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm you know, sorry. you're like, I see you. I see you. You did well. You did well on your first one. I feel like, you, you know, you, now, now you now you're talking a little big now. Oh, like, snap. don't get smacked oh, down snap. again now. It's all I'm saying. Like, like uh, I, I mean, we, we already set you down once. So you might want to Yay. actually step away and come correct. Is all I'm saying. We've got half the right now. Do. Yeah. I feel like I'm supposed to dance. Dude, okay, no, like, 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 no jokes. Like, seriously, I, I love Remake Revolution more than anything that we do. <laughs> so, speaking, speaking of the hardest working man in comics, where can we find some of your hard work? <laughs> uh, you can literally find me at Vantage In House on all forms of social media, vantageinhouse.com. Definitely come to Comic Town because all of my stuff is here. We, I'm even on the wall. Like, I'm yeah. special. I'm up there, right? <laughs> so, yeah, come through and uh, buy some good books. Uh, if you are into creating comics, uh, check out You Create Comics. So that's the letter U, C-R-E, the number eight, comics.com. And you can check out all the cool products and programming that we offer. Educate your children so that they don't have terrible story ideas like we did. Uh, and, and create some cool stuff that other people will enjoy. And uh, where can I find my uh, Three Geeks uh, stuff? Where can we find uh, that? We are at uh, threegeeks.ninja. We've got the, the most badass website on the internet, threegeeks.ninja. Um, you can find us, uh, all of our podcasts, you can get on Stitcher, I, uh, not, uh, Apple Music, whatever they freaking call it now, um, <laughs> Google Play. Uh, we're on Anchor, we're on all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, if you want the, you want the, the 
you want the juice straight from the fruit, you know, if you want the, the straight up sauce, you just, you just got sex. <laughs> you got you got to work on. You want the juice straight from the fruit? <laughs> oh, I'm using that. You got to work on your metaphors. <laughs> I'm, at home. I'm gonna use that to my lady, like, hey. That's you no preservatives, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no baby. added sugars, all right? Like, this is the straight up sauce. Yo! I... <laughs> and. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is it. All pulp, baby. What you mean? I like it. I like it. Dang it, Max. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank uh, you. <laughs> You saw cats, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, dude, I saw cats and that was it. Now I just don't give a fuck. Like, the world means nothing. <laughs> I've looked into the abyss, sir, and the abyss looked back. The abyss was cat buttholes. <laughs> oh, dude, we puckered up cat buttholes. Like, Idris Elba's cat butthole. Oh, up. my gosh. Okay. Um, John? <laughs> yes. Jo th thank you, John, for, <laughs> for holding For enduring. Court. For enduring. <laughs> you say that now, off air, you're going to go, you're not allowed to book any more guests ever. <laughs> no, I loved it. It was awesome. I, I kind of love just being able to sit back and watch stuff happen. It's kind of great. But uh, where can we find some of your good stuff, John? Um, PVDcast.com is the online home of yours truly, where all my episodes are up. Um, in fact, this week's episode is a really good one. Uh, Antonio Hernandez is a Washington, D.C. Uh, filmmaker. We did a really unique like film series called Indelible, uh, following nine different people, uh, creative individuals, I should say, from the Washington, D.C., Baltimore area. Uh, but it's also available wherever you can find any major platform or any major podcasting platform. And uh, Matt Talk is currently right now only on Anchor, but it's going out everywhere. So if you have hmm. said, I've That's heard my wise. grandfather, I've heard my grandfather talk about this show. And you want to check it out. Well, there you go. Matt Talk. There you go. <laughs> Episode one, hot fire. Straight hot, hot fire. fire. And, uh, if Andy Griffith was al alive, he would thank you for that comment. Oh, compliment, mm. I'm sure. like, yeah, people first, were like, people were like, oh man, he's turning over in his grave. Like, no, like, Andy Griffith stood up out of his grave, did three backflips, and then sat back down in the motherfucker. <laughs> and then he'd be like, what's hot fire mean? <laughs> Am I no, hot no, fire? He's been, he's been watching. He knows what hot fire is. He's been watching from heaven. From heaven. Andy Griffith <laughs> sat up out of his grave, started whistling the theme song to the Andy Griffith show oh. with Dylon spitting a freestyle on top. Ooh. Oh, uh, oh, there you go. There you there go. You go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we close up on that <laughs> one. A rub a dump. A rub a dump. Um, I've been your host, Mike McG. Uh, you can catch my stuff at YouTube dot com slash mike mcg tv uh i just did a podcast with max remembering joel schumacher and denny o'neill some contributors to the batman legacy and i we just started a new season over at anchor on the one and done podcast uh for firefly so check out that first episode uh we'll have all the stuff in the description and i'm sure uh thank you Thanks. all so much all this was a blast this was fun check it out down there good stuff man good stuff congrats guys yeah, yeah. good win good win <laughs>